The following video is part of my Enterprise MPLS VPN deployment webinar. To learn more about my webinars, please visit my website. Now let's see how we can solve two case studies with what we've learned so far. And we'll go for common services and single hop PE to PE cases. If you remember, we have the original office with two types of users, red and blue users, VLANs to isolate the user groups. We need to keep isolation across WAN, so MPLS VPN in one way or the other. But a new requirement, they both have to access the common server sitting in the regional office. Red has to communicate with common, blue has to communicate with common, but red and blue shall not communicate. The solution is to leak routes between VRFs. You could use static routes and packet leaking like we did before. Route leaking, if you have everything in VRF, is much more convenient. And also, if you change the addressing or if you add subnets, you don't have to fix your static routing. Now the question is, red VRF has certain route extinguishing route target, same for blue VRF. Common VRF obviously has its own route extinguishing route target. How do we transfer, transfer routes between VRFs? A simple scenario is, well, you know what? Just add import export route targets for the common VRF. So common VRF has this route target. Let's add it as import and export route targets in the blue and the red VRF. The problem with this, and this is an absolutely wrong approach, because you have the same import and export route targets in red and blue, you will also transfer routes between them. So this will not work. The right solution, you have to route distinguishers and route targets as before, and then you use an asymmetric trick. Export from red and blue is import in common and export from common is import in red and blue. So you see, you, we don't use the same export and import route targets. The first export from red to common guarantees that common will see the red routes. Same common will see the blue routes. And because we export from common, but import in red, red will see the common routes, and so also blue will see the common routes. The import-export stuff is not transient. So what gets into common VRF will not leak over into the red VRF or vice versa. So we keep the separation between red and blue, but common can see them both and they can both see common. To get more information about my webinars, to register for an online session or by a recording, please visit my website.